Welcome back as we go through another batch of photos here. So let's come in and just start cleaning these up. Just got a little bit of stuff in the background on this one here. Uh, this is actually from the sun, but it's a little distracting. I'll go ahead and remove that as well as some of this stuff down here. Actually, you know what, though? I'm going to leave. I like that there's three. You know, the power of three. Um, nah, I'll remove it. Might be a little. Actually, no, I'm not going to. Now that I think about that, I do like that. I'm going to leave that in. We'll leave that in. That'll be a creative decision to leave this little bit in there. Okay, let's see. cleaning some of these little areas. I think we're good. No bruise visible and just remove some of this stuff here. Okay. For this, let's see. No, nope, no bruise visible there and a little bit of hair in the face, but you know, I'm okay with that. It doesn't cross her eyes. It kind of actually helps frame the eyes a little bit better, which I like. So we're going to keep that and just remove some of this stuff down here. So we got kind of pretty lucky with this whole set where most of the edits we're having to do are uh, just some healing really i mean some some spot healing some some heals but not a lot of significant edits you know removing people we were fortunate to get to this place where you know there was nobody there and uh that made it a lot easier so we don't have to you know remove people from the background i'm okay with stuff like this that's uh, part of the structure it adds to the shot i think um, some of the depth. But if there were people in the background, of course, we'd want to remove them. But it's always a lot faster if you don't have to remove anything. So if you can get somewhere when there's nobody there, that uh, saves time. Let's go ahead and switch. Oops. Alt and find our source spot. I'm just going to get rid of this little flyaway right here. There we go. And then once we've got kind of the base, now I can use my uh, heel to blend those edges just a little bit. The edge of the, you know, it's going from sky to sky, so it's not too bad there, but let's. Uh, Find a source over here, and let's actually switch to a new layer. Sometimes it, it pulls sources better on a new layer. There we go. Yeah, see, that's better. There we go. Perfect. Next one. You know, for some of these, just to give options, I might actually leave some of those footprints in. Um, I kind of liked what we had done on that last one where it adds a little bit of depth to it where you can see that, you know, it's, uh, there's a lot of stuff around that hadn't, so we, we got lucky when, actually when we came here, it had just rained. So a lot of this stuff had washed away where normally you'd have footprints and stuff, but, um, so I kind of like, you know, as a little path, I'm not going to remove that. I'm going to leave that in, give some options cause we had removed some. And then we'll keep some of it in. This shot's really not going to need much. Actually, completely nothing. I'm going to leave that in. Um, oh, and I didn't save it like I mentioned in the last video. So if I forget and open that file up again, we'll find out later on, right? If we did that, sometimes that happens. Yeah, I'm okay with leaving that stuff in. We're going to give some options here for having some 
some of the little sand. I really don't think there's anything. I am going to turn it off, turn it back on so it saves, but um, I don't really think there's anything on that to really warrant changing. I'm happy with that as it is. Uh, maybe clean this up a little bit here. We got some flyaways that we could remove, but, you know, I honestly... I kind of like it. I kind of like leaving that stuff in unless there's a specific reason to remove something. So like for this one here, I like this, but I'm going to remove this big. Um, this was from the heel of the boot. So I'm going to remove this big piece here because I felt like that's a little distracting. Maybe this one too. Still has some nice texture in there, so we're not getting rid of everything, but uh, the ones that are distracting, we will do that. And we're back to some of these. We'll we'll go ahead and remove this. Um, I don't think there was anything on our face, any hair or anything like that to, to get rid of. Oops. Switch my pen tool instead of the open and close brackets on the keyboard are how you uh, make the larger and smaller. And so sometimes I'll accidentally hit P. Because for the pen tool, because that's that's on there. Yeah, again, we'll we'll leave some options. We'll we'll leave that. Um, actually, I'm going to remove the one from this side. That's a little much. And then we'll leave it in on this one just to see, you know, which to give client some options. Um, because you know I'm making a lot of creative decisions here, but we can let them have some options since we do have so many shots. Uh, we can. We have the freedom to give a few give a few options, and so I like to do that when I can. And if it's something where you know they're like, "Oh, I really like this, but can we get rid of that in the background?" Sure, no problem. We can come back and do that because we're working non-destructively. It's not hard to do. There we go clean that up. And I'm going to, um, well, actually, again, for options, we'll leave, leave some of those little sun uh, spots in there. Since it is, you know, it's obviously a sunset shot. We've got some flares that we were trying to get from the sun directly, but we'll leave some of those out. I don't think there's really anything on this one. Nope. I'm going to leave that stuff on the ground. And then... Uh, for this one, we can clean it up and so that way there's an option. So the last one, we didn't remove any of this stuff on the ground. And this time, we can come in and, uh, and do that. So, to be, so we could have the options of, you know, before and after we were walking around in that area. Reset a little bit when the last file saved. Okay. Here we go. Wonderful. Okay. Wow. It looks like we hit that batch. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and. Stop this video here and I'll see you in the next video for the next batch.